Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be talking about the new kit review of Navia, where she's coming out in patch 4.3. I will be taking a look at her entire kit and just giving my first impressions and thoughts about what I feel about it. I'm not going to get too into detail about how you would like to build her, what stats you want to focus, what kind of teams, etc. Because since her kit has just been revealed, there is a pretty high chance that like later down the line she might be seeing some significant changes. So I will do a pre-release in full detail about about how you like to do that stuff with Navia once we're closer to patch 4.3 but for now let's take a look at what she actually does starting off with her base stats her base hp is 12650 base attack 352 base defense 793 and her section stat is crit damage which is actually really nice she is a geo 5 star unit and also a claymore user moving on to her normal attack blunt refusal normal attack performs up to four considerable strikes and charge attack is basically the same as any claymore user normal attack seems okay moving on to her elemental skills her memorial crystal shot when a character in the party obtains an elemental shard created from the crystallized reaction navia will gain one charge of crystallized sharp now navia can hold up to six charges of crystallized sharp now at once when she fires navia will consume all crystallized sharp now charges and open her elegant yet lethal gunbrella firing multiple rosalia shard shots that can penetrate opponents dealing geo damage to opponents hit when zero to three or more charges of crystallized sharp now are consumed five to eleven rosella sharp shots will be fired respectively the more Rosella Sharp Shots that strike a single opponent, the greater the damage dealt to them. When all 11 Rosella Sharp Shots strike, they deal 200% of the original amount of damage. In addition, when more than 3 charges of Crystallized Sharp Now are consumed, every charge consumed beyond those 3 will increase the damage dealt by that shot by an additional 50 for her elemental skill there are two versions a press and a hold for the hold entering any mode continually collecting elemental shards created by crystallized reactions when released fire rosella sharp shots with the same effect as when the skill is tapped and for her elemental skill it has arc damage that is osaya okay so she is a gun user in a sense where she basically utilizes the crystallized reaction which is what I talked about in my previous video where I was kind of speculating on what her kit will be based on previous leaks and it turns out to be basically true which I'm very happy about. It's very good that they are utilizing geo elemental reaction other than like pairing another geo just increases damage. It's good in the sense that they're utilizing the reaction to allow geo to be useful with other elements. Here are the stats for her skill at level 9. The shard shot base damage is 522.2% which is actually really nice. I think her elemental skill is actually pretty sick. The cooldown is 9 seconds. So what it seems is that you want to use as much as elemental reaction to create as much crystallized shards for her to consume and basically shoot as many sharp shots as she can. Okay, it seems like a pretty damn good elemental skill. Moving on to her elemental burst as the sunlit sky singing salute. On the orders of the president of the Spin de Roselle, call for a magnificent golden rose salute. Unleashes a massive bombardment on opponents in front of her, dealing AoE geo damage and providing firing support for a duration afterward, heroically dealing geo damage. When attacks from golden Roselle salute hit opponents, Navia will gain one charge of crystal life shard now. This effect can be triggered up to once every 2.4 seconds. Okay, so from the leaked footage that I seen about this elemental burst, it's basically imagine Zhang Li's burst, but many versions of those hitting at random spots near Navia, which is actually pretty cool if you ask me, because it's like her making cannon shoot a lot of like cannon shots and just it being thrown onto the battlefield. Which is actually going to be really cool to play. But other than that, the skill damage, it's okay, I would say. It's not really the best considering that it's 129%. But the skill damage and the fire support is 82.3%. But I think the good thing here is that the duration is 12 seconds, which is actually pretty good. If it's continuous damage, not only allowing her to deal continuous geo damage, but also apply geo to create as much crystallized shards as you can. The cooldown for the elemental burst is 15 seconds and the energy cost is 60, which is actually really good. Boy, on to her passives, her first one undisclosed distribution channels. For 4 seconds after using ceremonial crystal shot, which is her elemental skill, the damage dealt by Navia's normal attacks, charge attacks, and plunging attacks will be converted into geo damage, which cannot be overridden by any other elemental infusion and the damage dealt by Navia's normal 
attacks, charge attack, and bludgeoning attacks will be increased by 40%. Okay, so a nice extra increase allowing her normal attacks and charge attacks to be more useful instead of just only relying on her damage from her elemental skill and elemental burst. Her second one, Mutual Assistance Network. For each Pyro, Electro, Cryo, and Hydro party member, Navia gains 20% increased attack. This effect can stack up to two times for a total of 40% attack. Another pretty damn good passive for her, which also again basically adds more value to using other elemental characters with Navia as a geo unit, to which puts value on the crystallized reaction. Moving on to her constellations, in case you are interested in pulling multiple copies of her, her first one, each charge of crystal sharp now consumed when Navia uses Ceremonia crystal shot will restore two energy to her and decrease the cooldown of her elemental burst by one second up to six energy can be gained this way and the cooldown of her elemental skill can be decreased up to three seconds i think this is a translation here because it says decrease the cooldown of her elemental burst but nonetheless it's nice okay constellation because it's because it's not really that massive because you only decrease it by three seconds and six energy is like whatever her c2 the crit rate of her elemental skill is increased by eight percent for each charge of crystallized shard now consumed crit rate can be increased by up to 24 percent in this way which is actually pretty damn nice in addition when elemental skill hits an opponent one shot of fire support from her elemental burst will strike near the location of the hit up to one instance of fire support can be triggered each time her elemental skill is used and the damage dealt by fire support in this way is considered elemental burst damage okay so a nice extra amount of damage but also a good amount of extra crit rate by 24 percent my god i think the c2 is pretty good but also but considering her c1 it may not be as worth it unless you really want the extra crit rate moving on to c4 when her elemental burst hits an opponent that opponent's geo resistance will be decreased by 20 percent for eight seconds another good constellation but not really a massive one and finally her c6 if more than three charges of crystallized sharpnel are consumed when using her elemental skill each charge consumed beyond the first three increases the crit damage of that ceremonial crystal shot by 35 percent and any charges consumed beyond the first three are returned to navia okay so basically i think this increases her crit damage on her crystallized shot increases by 35 to 70 to up to 105 percent on the third shot but i think it stays after you do three shots so in that case it's actually pretty damn good but yeah is a c6 is actually really nice so that is a first look on Navia's entire kit and my overall impressions is that I think she's going to be a pretty damn good Geo character. Not only allowing her as a Geo unit to be useful in terms of utilizing elemental reaction of the elemental reaction crystallize and using that as an advantage to increase her personal damage. Obviously you would still like to use her with another Geo character like mostly Albedo or Zhongli if you utilize his pillars. But nonetheless, I think you will still be able to utilize the crystallized reaction from using her elemental burst. But yeah, I'm just happy that they made her a Geo character that actually utilizes crystallized. Moving on to her 5 star signature. Now because these are leaks, I can't actually show the weapon, but her weapon looks actually really sick because it's an actual axe. But the stats of her 5 star signature, base attack is 674 with crit rate being the substat at 22.1%. Okay so the main priority is the base attack being really high. And then the passive increases attack by 20% when characters in your party obtain elemental shards from crystallite reactions. The equipping character will gain one seal, increasing elemental skill damage by 18%. The seal lasts for 15 seconds. All of the seals will disappear 0.2 seconds after their elemental skill deals damage. Okay, so the passive is... Oh. Okay, I think because it does increase her skill damage by 18% by up to 36%. It's just that the last part kind of makes it not better because when her skill does damage and it's multiple shots, if you were to use it at max crystal shots, I think some of the shots won't be using the passive as much considering that you only get the seals from getting crystallized shards and she only really consumes the shards from when you hold it until you release it. So the passive is kind of iffy with me but nonetheless the base attack being really high and also getting more attack from the passive and still allowing some of your shots to be increased by a good amount of damage i think this is a pretty damn good signature and now moving on to her best in slot at the moment of the new artifact set that will be coming in patch 4.3 nighttime whispers in the echoing woods is basically give her a lot of geo damage 
The two piece increases her attack by 18% while the four piece effect when using an elemental skill gained the heart of gold effect for 10 seconds, gain a 60% geo damage bonus. While under a shield granted by the crystallized reaction, the geo damage bonus provided by heart of gold will be increased by 150 50% and this additional increase disappears one second after that shield is lost. So what this basically does is that it allows her to get a 40% damage bonus. What the heck is this set? And again, it utilizes the crystallized reaction, which is one of the things that I actually really enjoy about her. This new set is good for her and potentially could be useful for future and present geo characters but well, nonetheless this is definitely going to be the best in slot for navia but hopefully they don't nerf it because this is actually going to be really good for her but yeah overall my first impressions on navia i am very impressed with her i'm happy that she utilizes the crystallite reaction even though they don't really buff the reaction itself it just makes it useful in terms of increasing the damage of her kit but nonetheless i'm happy that they're using it i'm happy they build a set around the reaction itself and also increasing her damage even more but yeah overall i think she's gonna be pretty damn good hopefully they don't nerf her or even better give her even more buffs but yeah i'm impressed i'm excited i'm excited to farm for the new set and i cannot wait for her release and that is navia's first kit reveal thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video and want to see more content like this then definitely subscribe to the channel leave a like on the video to support it check out my twitch if you want to check out my live streams over there the link will be in the description below that's it for today and hope you guys have a wonderful day peace